Hello, my friends. Give it a second or two. For some reason, this thing fades in. Fucking nuisance. Uh, I've already done this once, and I'm doing it again. All right. So, anyway. Horizons, Steve Hackett. Okay, it's what we're going to do. I've broken it down into three bits. Uh, three. Um, I'm going to do part one, first bit, today. Okay, so download your paperwork from the link below, a blue link. You'll see it there. It's all there. Have a look in the description box. Uh, if you're new to the channel, let me explain what this is. All right, this is my idiot-proof way of getting the information across. Not the good idiots, I do these things for myself. It's a great way of remembering how to do it, especially when you're doing complicated stuff. Uh, tablature, of course, won't show you the left hand, What is this will, all right? And once your left hand is in position, the rest of it's relatively straightforward, okay? It's unique to the web and it's all mine and now yours. Okay, so let's have a good look at it. So download it. Uh, your 12 frets on the guitar. These are your six strings. The numbers here, one to six. Anything that's individual numbers, of course, you'll play those strings individually. Any numbers you see in a bracket, then you'll play together. Um, we'll get into that as we go along, all right? So uh, download this now. Make sure you listen to Steve Hackett playing the track. Most of you who are gonna learn this will know it, of course. Um, but if you need to re-familiarize re yourself, uh, go and have a look at Mr. Hackett doing it, or one of my early vids when I was younger, I think I did a version of it. It wasn't bang on accurate, but it's no one would know unless you were Steve himself. But uh, you, I'm not done, gonna do it now, there's no point. You'll just bugger off and go and watch I'm a Celebrity get me out of here or something. So this is what we're gonna play today. All right, so paperwork, download it, right? Da, 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 da. You should be looking at it now or have a computer screen so you can see it. Let us begin. Start off with a little harmonic section, all right? Um, a quick rule for the right hand, Steve Hackett, he's plays, uh, he doesn't really play in a classical way. People think he does, but he doesn't. He sort of does a lot of strummy stuff. He's very much a rock guitar player that likes classical music. But, um, and I'm not a classical player either, but I do, I play in a more classical way when I'm doing this sort of stuff. And I suggest you do as well, because you'll find it easier to play. Um, for example, when you're playing string three, try and use finger one. When you're playing string two, try and use finger two. And finger, first string played with finger three. It just keeps things easy to understand, okay? Keeps the, keep, use the right fingers for the right strings, okay? Most of the time. All right, so let's begin. Now, when you're playing a harmonic, you do not play it in the middle of the fret as you would with a, with a, a normal fretted uh, note. You play it right over the fret, right over, and with the lightest of touches, and you've got to hit it quite hard. In this case, we're gonna start off with a sixth string at the seventh fret. And as soon as the notes start, get rid of your finger. Don't go. Get rid of it, okay, let it ring. Then your little finger move to the 12th fret. Again, right over the fret, not here, right over the fret. And you're gonna play four, three, and two. Ooh. <laughs> I was just testing. All right, so put those bits together. Six, four, three, two. Back to the seventh fret on the fifth string this time. Back to the third string of the 12th, fourth string of the 12th, and third string of the 12th to finish the part. If you want to know if you've done enough notes, count it like this. One, and two, and three, and four, and one bar. Let's do it, and we do it again. One, and two, and three, and four, and, and then one more time, but only part of it. One, and two, and Okay, so there's our harmonic section done. We'll be revisiting that a little bit later, but for now, it's out of the way. I'll do it one more time. Okay, and let it slow down and then move your third finger 
down to the bass string of the third fret where we're going to begin the main melody. All right. Now, you'll notice on my diagrams that you'll see, you know, dots here. This is where your finger's going. Why is there a circle around it? Well, something's going to happen with that finger. Either it's going to come off or it's going to stay on. It's just to let you know that something is going to happen there. It'll tell you down the bottom when we get to it. All right. So straight on to the main melody. Right. This is what we're going to play. If you look at your first diagram, you'll see this shape. Now, you don't have to put that finger on until you need it. But for now, I'll just show you what it is. I'll put it on now. I tend to put it on when I need it. So when you see string three, that's when I'd put it on. Six, four, two, three, two, four, two, three. Now you'll notice on that three, it says open. So I'm gonna keep that finger on, but as soon as I play that, the third string, the last time, that will come off and you'll play it open. All right, I'll do it again. And we repeat that. I mean, that alone is beautiful, isn't it? So page two is done. On to page three, which is a nice A minor shape. Again, there's going to be something happening with that finger, so be aware of it. It's going to tell you what that is. And the bottom. What are we going to play? Five, four, then three and two together. Why is that? They're in a bracket. So we do that. I'll do that again. Five, four, three and two together. And then a two, and underneath the two it says open. So finger off. Pretty straightforward, isn't it? Idiot proof. Onto the next shape, you'll see that that finger's put back on, and your little finger now is on the bass string at the third fret. Six and two together, because it's in a bracket. Four, two, six, but it says open, so we'll bring that, take that little finger off and play that string open. At the same time, I want you to remove your second finger leave the fingers one and three on because we're going to need them for the next shape all right let me play that bit again from a minor five four three and two together two open six and two together four two six leaving these two on put this finger now onto the bass string of the second fret this is like a d7 with an f sharp bass doesn't matter what it's called it could be called steve for all we care Makes no difference. Six, four, three and two together, because it's in a bracket. And then it says two open. So get rid of that finger. Let me play that section. Okay, doing well. On to page four, which is the last page of this section. You're gonna go back to your G with the first shape that we played. Okay, six and two together because it's in a bracket. Four, three, four, two, four, one, four. It's nice, isn't it, the way all the notes blend. Jump to your D seventh with your F sharp, bit of a tricky jump, but you'll get it. Second finger up on the bass string, third finger on the uh, third string at the second fret, underneath in the same fret, and your little finger here, okay? And you're going to play six and two together. Why? Because it's in a bracket. Four, three, four. Okay, I'll do that again. And then put your first finger on the second string of the first fret and take your second finger off. So your first finger's on the second string of the first fret. You've left this one on, so you've got two fingers left like that. And you're going to play three and two together because it's in a bracket. And then you're going to play three and two again. And underneath it, it says open. So you're going to take them off. And then it says repeat from page two, which means you'll do everything exactly the same, except for the harmonic section. All right. Let me play that page four again one more time for you. Okay, well, let's put it all together. Harmonics. I'll do it nice and slow for you.
classical stuff. It's always good to to think of it like a roller coaster where it goes up and that and that sort of thing. And there's a little trick here. Whenever classical players get to what they know is going to be a tricky part, they'll start slowing the piece down as if it sounds like a natural slowdown. So when they get to that tricky part, you know, they don't end up crashing and then it sounds like a big load of shit. Okay? <laughs> I'll show you what I mean. So if I were good, if I was worried about this shape, shape here, the one I said might be a bit tricky, you sort of go. Let's so you play into it. It sounds like they're doing it um, for feel, but really, well, it is, but it also doubles as a, a way of uh, saving yourself looking like a bleeding idiot, if you get it wrong. Right, Horizon, Steve Hackett. We've done part one. Uh, there's part two and part three to do, which I will do tomorrow for you. Okay. Um, remember, if you want to support the channel, I've got an album out. You can um, get that, you know, because that's uh, a good way of helping keeping these things going uh, and i've also got a couple of live gigs which i'm doing but i'm not going to bore you with all that now you know where everything is um enjoy the stuff remember to download it and i shall see you all tomorrow now i'm doing this on my iphone and i'm about it which is precariously balanced on a box so i'm hoping that when i press the button to turn this off you're not going to get a fucking view of my ceiling so let's try it shall we see you tomorrow Ooh.